everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I finished, for the fourth time, I think, <laughs> at least, uh -huh. the uh, capelet that I was making. I started out with gray up here, and the gray wasn't working, so I took the gray out, and then I was doing this, and then it was, like, too big. So I took it out again, or I took it out. No, I wait a minute. Did I did it twice the with the gray, thinking it was going to work, and it didn't work. And then I took it out, and it was too big. And so then I took it out again. And I, instead of 130 stitches around, I put a hun I put 100 because mm -hmm. I'm that much smaller. The 30 was just too much. So in the other room, I've got another one I'm making that was already made, but I'm taking it apart because it had 130 stitches, and it was too big. So I'm going to make it smaller. And drying it up made it too bunchy, and I didn't like the bunchiness, so... I want it to be smoother like this. And I also made this section less, less, because it was, with the bulkier yarn, it was too much. This is the yarn that I got in that giveaway from Tanya. Tanya, see what I made? I made a capelet. It's lovely. It's, and very, this is warm. Very, it feels very good. Nice. And I was telling Jim that, you know, I had been looking for this for, I don't know how long, a long time. And I says, where the heck could that afghan have gone? What it was is I was making, I was making this. Look how big it is. And to think I can't find this? What in the world? <laughs> what it was is I was, every time I'd have a little bit of yarn left over, I would just put it onto this, this, this afghan. As you can see, it's got a lot of different colors. It's really, really pretty. My afghan that my mother made me is out of these colors, the red, the black, and the white. Um, she made an afghan out of these colors that I gave to, I think, or maybe it's still upstairs, I don't know. But mm -hmm. anyways, and there was a lot of, there's a lot, of, and the green, there was a green variegade, but that's not on here. That's no, no, that's got pink in it. It didn't have pink in it. Theirs was Anthony's was just plain old green and white variegate yarn. But anyways, every time I got a piece, a little bit of yarn that was a little extra, I was putting it on here. And this is the zigzag. I've got a lot of ends to weave in. You'll see a lot of ends. See, there's ends that need to be weave, woven in. But it's it's the zigzag pattern. It's beautiful. It's what my mother used to always make our afghans out of. A lot of people call these blankets. Well, they're really afghans, is what I call them. I don't know. They're not. They're 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 used like a blanket, but they're an afghan. But and it, what it was is I needed my G hook. I says if I could find that afghan, I can find the G hook. So I ended up buying more hooks because I needed a G hook. And now we've got some more hooks coming. From tomorrow. tomorrow, I should have more it's hooks coming. Supposed to be tomorrow. And I was using bobby pins and clothes pins as my stitch markers, and safety pins. And so we ordered some stitch mar some stitch markers. I have the ones for knitting that are stitch markers, but I didn't have any of the crochet stitch markers. So we needed to get. And we need to get enough. bells. Well, we needed to get bells for Emily and a TV remote. And to get right. free shipping, we had to keep... Had to add some stuff, so... Add stuff. I added the the crochet hooks and the stitch markers because the postage was going to be a lot. And so it really ended up being zero, mm -hmm. but we ended up paying just a tad more than what the postage would have been. But still, it wasn't But bad. you're getting more in but return. But I'm getting more in return. That's right. Um, today, I was watching Carno Mad's videos... I watched for, um, well, I didn't watch. <laughs> I listened. Listen, mostly. I listened. I was, um, I had it on, and the kitchen floor got swept. The, um, I don't know what all. I did a lot of crocheting. I, I crochet you when crocheted. I, I crochet. And Jim sat, and he listened. Usually he's you on. You restarted, the, too. Yeah, I restarted it. <laughs> I was like a half hour into it, and I said, oh, you've got to hear this. And so... <laughs> I backed it up, and it went for an hour and 30-some minutes or 20-some. I don't know. It was a long one. And then there was the next one. I didn't realize there was two out, so I had to watch both of them, uh, listen to both of them. Because I crochet when I'm doing that. I'm working on the other one that I that I tore apart. I tear a lot of stuff apart. But I like this. This is pretty. 
this is gonna, and the thing is that's going to be hard to, with this one is you have to wash it like it's a wool because there is wool in it. This brown and yellow are actually wool. I think they were 100% wool. And maybe the white too is 100% wool. Or the off-white. It's not really white because there's white next to it. But um, you have to wash it like it's in, like it's all wool. Otherwise, you'd be doing that shrinking stuff. That felting is what they'd call it. I actually have a book on felting, but I've never felt it. Heather got me a book years and years and years ago. She bought me. I you did no, I never did anything with the felting. You have to make it. I was going to make a hat. And the hat is huge when you make it. Then when you put it in the hot water, it would make it come down to the size that you want. But then it would look like felted. And I never have done it. But I do have the book and I do have the yarn that she bought me because she bought me some 100% yarn. 100% wool yarn. And I went up in the attic because when we cleaned out um, my mother's house, I says, you know, I've got yarn up there. I better go see. And she must have been going to make a, something big, probably an Afghan, out of um, variegated red yarn because I've got a lot of that. And it's in the, it's probably wool. It's probably 100% wool. She used to only buy red heart yarn. But it was always wool, and it was what they call four ply. They now call it what? what is it? Four strands. No, they call no. it. No, they call it. Um, I don't know what they call it now. They say when they're talking about how many, how much, like this, this yarn. Most of this yarn is a four ply. Um, they, I don't have any three ply on this. Um, I forgot what they say. They say something different. They don't call it four ply, I don't believe. Four weight? Four, that's right. Weight. They say weight now instead of four ply. It used to be four ply, three ply, two ply. Um, embroidery thread was six strands, and you divided it by two to do your embroidery. Oh, there was so much. I've got some really pretty, pretty, real pretty tablecloths that were embroidered by your mother. And you can't tell, yeah. I have to bring them down someday and show you. There, You can't tell the front from the back. She put no knots in it. It's it's beautiful. And if you're going to do embroidery, that's the way you want to do it. You want to make it look like the front is the same as the back. I think she did cross-stitch embroidery. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. A lot of hers. She did a lot of cross-stitch. And she did a lot of crochet where she would actually crochet. It was like the count blocks where you would do so many and then it would make like a letter eventually because it was it was a count crochet it was different I've never done that either well my computer is still not working like it should we can get into it it's not froze like someone thought it was froze it's not froze froze not like you would think froze where you can't turn mm. it on and just got a black screen I can turn it on I can get to the stuff that's in it, but there's still that little box that likes to just hang out. You can't, can't open any files, or if you do, it takes Forever. hours It just to spins open. and spins and spins and spins and does a lot of that nonsense. But, um, and somebody files, else... Files, not boxes, but files. files. Yeah, and you can't download a lot of things because you tried and they wouldn't accept it. Um, it would a, download, but then I couldn't open it back up again, it. so. Yeah, there was, it's, it's a challenge. And come to find out, I was getting hit on Tuesday, it shows, because when he opened up Firefox, or is it Firefox? Well, I opened up notifications. Notifications. And it showed that Tuesday, I was getting bombarded, and that was the day that I watched some of the videos on the computer rather than Chromecasting them to the TV with my iPad. And so that was when this whole shoot and shebang started, and then I happened to go into that one website, and that was just enough to send that thing off into this warning, warning, danger, danger. <laughs> felt like felt like I was lost in space where the guy where the robot would be flailing his arms and saying, warning, warning, danger, danger, and I don't remember, uh, Lost, Lost in, in space. space, yep. Yeah, I, at that show, I don't know if you remember that show <laughs> or not.
but that I was, do. That I remember it too. We used to love watching it. It was, you know, if you ever watch all the old shows again, you think, gosh, this was such a good show, but now you you notice that the, the how bad you, it is. <laughs> you think, what? How bad of uh, acting? It and... sounds like they're ta they're reading instead of really. Just well, not only that, but the, the the special effects are, are horrible. Are horrible compared yeah. to what you see today. Well, even like the cartoons, if you watch old cartoons like the Betty Boop cartoons, or even Mighty Mouse, and and any even Bugs Bunny, you watch those, and then you watch cartoons of today. It's like you're watching a real movie with the cartoons of today because the animation is so. Advanced. Advanced, yeah. It's really good. Well, I took Mr. Brown outside, and he enjoyed a little bit of the sunshine. I picked up a lot of poop. I did try to put a diaper on him. He will have nothing to do with that diaper. So I guess I'm just going to pick up poop from now on. <laughs> he doesn't poop when I'm holding him. He's, he's very good. And he's funny because I'll take him out of the cage, and if he thinks he's staying in the blue room, he will hop down and buzz around and then poop. <laughs> But if he thinks I'm taking him outside, he will sit on my hand, and he will go with me very nicely. He doesn't hop down. I say, let's go outside. I, I actually talk to him so that hopefully he understands, like the dog understands when you say, um, do your do potty, do pee-pee. I say, pee-pee, and he does his pee-pee. I go, poopy, and he does his poopy. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> well, most of the time he does for me. I says, down, off the porch. Come on, go down, down. And he'll go down. And um, when I tell him to sit, stay, okay, he understands that. I says, outside, let's in the house, Jake, stay. You know, he understands the, you just use maybe one or two words at the most. And so when I'm going to take the Mr. Brown outside, I say, up, because I want him to get on my hand. And he gets on my hand. Or he lets me just cuddle his belly and he holds his legs straight. And then I say we're going outside. And then he'll hop up onto my hand and just perch there and I walk. But if I'm not taking him outside, I says, you want to get out? And he knows he's going to just get down and run around. And he, earlier today I went out there and I says, what are you doing with my toilet paper? He had, to there was some poop on the floor and there was toilet paper right next to it. It's like... He's trying to wipe his own poop up, <laughs> is what it looks like, but I know it's not. But that's what my day was like today. It was actually kind of fun. Um, I guess we're done talking. I hope you enjoyed this little chat. <laughs> the rambling everywhere. Everywhere. I went, I went all over the place. But that's my, that's how my, I, I was going to tell Jim, oh, I'm not going yet. <laughs> I was going to tell Jim something. I was watching, um... Mike, Mike on Carnal Man. Man, and he said something, and I was going to say something, probably to the fact that what he had just said, and I said, oh, never mind, it just went in and went out, <laughs> just like that, it was so fast, I said, I don't even remember what I was going to tell you, but I was going to tell him something, but it was like, it was funny, because it was like a fleeting, fleeting thought, it just came in, turned around, went back out, it was gone. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's how my mind is. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night or a good day, whatever. Have a great time, whatever you're doing. I'll see you. Bye.